Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to split cells. Now by that, you either mean that you want to split the contents of a cell. So you can see here, I've got three fields of content, essentially name, email address, and department. And I split that into three separate columns over here. Or you mean you literally want to split a cell, say like you would in a Word table. So I will cover both scenarios. But let's start off with this scenario where you want to split the contents of a cell. Now, there are loads of different ways you can do this. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to provide one solution for Excel 365 users and then another solution for any version of Excel. So in Excel 365, you can use a function called text split. Your text is the text you want to split. So that's in A3 for me. And then your cold delimiter is basically the delimiter or the characters that are separating your text. And you can see for me, that's a semicolon and a space. So I need to put that in quotation marks and then just close the bracket and press enter and then copy the formula down. Now, if you wanted to get rid of this version of the information, you would need to first of all, get rid of the formulas behind this output here, because at the moment, if I delete this, I end up with nothing in this table at all. So what I need to do is copy this output, Control C to copy it. Then on the Home tab, go to my Paste drop down and choose Paste Values. And then I can get rid of this. Okay, so you're not gonna have text split in earlier versions of Excel. So I'm gonna show you another method, and this is gonna work in whatever version of Excel you're using. Basically, you start by selecting the cells that you want to split. Then you go to the Data tab on your ribbon. In the Data Tools group, go to Text to Columns. Now we have delimited data, so data that's separated by a common character, which is a semicolon here. So I go to Next. Then you have to specify what the delimiter is. So in my scenario, semicolon is already selected but you just need to tick which delimiter you are currently using. And you can see down here, it successfully identifies where the data needs to be split. Then you go to next and you have to specify your destination. So your output destination. So by default, that's A2. So it's gonna overwrite the existing content. I'm actually gonna keep it there and I'm gonna provide a destination of C2. So then I click on finish. If you get this message, just click on OK, and you can see it outputs the data for you. Now, this isn't linked to this in any way, shape, or form, so I can delete it. Now, one thing that text to columns didn't do is get rid of the spaces before the email address and before the department. Unfortunately, you can't provide a sequence of delimiters when you're using text to columns. But we can get around this. If I just create another version of the table delete the current content. What I can do is use a function called trim. So I'm just referencing that first cell and then I'm going to copy it down and across and that'll get rid of any leading spaces before the email addresses and the sales department. But I will need to copy and then paste values to make it independent of my original. So then I can get rid of this. And that's perfect. Now onto the last example where we literally want to split cells. So here we're gonna be looking at splitting cells as you would in a Word table, but there isn't actually a button or any functionality in Excel that allows us to do that. All you can do is give the impression of cells being split. We actually do that by merging surrounding cells. So for example, if I merge these three cells, now you might be tempted to use this merge and center button, but you're actually better using control one on your keyboard, going to the alignment tab and using center across selection. So I know this is not a perfect solution, but it does give the impression that these cells have been split, whereas this hasn't. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. 
and I'll see you next video.